Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Symphonia. I am your host, Sonic Blue Sky. In the last episode, um... What did we do in the last episode? Uh... I don't remember! But... In this episode, we're going back to the Imperial Research Laboratory to, uh... Talk to Kate and... Oh, this guy is uh, meant to be used for a um, optional side quest. The side quest is optional, of course, but uh, a very optional side quest. And by that, I mean uh, the side quest virtually gives you nothing. I mean nothing except for backstory on characters. Um, literally, there are some side quests in here that just give you nothing at all. Um, unless you steal the items from the side quest, in which case you can get money. Uh, that particular side quest... Uh, what the hell did Perseus just... Perseus, that was the weirdest thing you ever did, you've ever you done so far. There are some weirder things, though. Um, but yeah, there are some side quests that just give you nothing. Some give you key items uh, that just basically you can say that you have. Um, they also give you backstory. That's, again, you know, there are tons... I'm only going to be doing the side quests that actually give you key items at the end, once you've completed them. Um, so, that way it is technically 100%. I, there's no possible way that I could do every side quest in the game that gets you nothing. Um, other than that, I'm going to do uh, side quests that uh, do... That have, you know, they're easy to get done, and they're not too far out of the way. Half-Elf Simon. I'm not siding with him. Anyway, have Elf has to repair Perseus' key crest. Lloyd, can't you fix it? To be honest, I can't even tell the difference between this and a normal key crest. It'd probably be faster to search for that dwarf, Altessa. Then it's settled. Shall we head for... Gaurakia Forest? I, I, I have no idea how to pronounce that name. It's like the one thing in this game that I have no idea how to pronounce. Huh. But uh, we gotta go to the Gaurakia Forest. Uh, Gaurakia, Gaurachia, Gaurakia. Or... I'm pretty sure it's probably something in mythology. I'll look it up and put it in an annotation later. But yeah. Uh, for now, let's just leave Cybac. I feel like doing a really long episode today. No, I don't wanna go there. Um, I don't know why. I think I'll do a really long episode today. It just feels like the day to do it. Plus, I want to get this game done as fast as possible. I, I, I really want to get to the next Let's Play, and people have been guessing at what it is. Um, yeah. Whoa, this place is creepy. This place is creepy, Raggy. Colette, you're awfully cheery. <laughs> Sorry. Colette is cheery. That's why I love Colette. Aw, oh, balls. Whoops, it's the Papal Knights. It's like, whoops. Zelos, the chosen you are in the way of the Pope. Eh, I've known, I've known that since I was a kid. That, that makes things simple. It is time for you to die. To die. No, we are not going to die. Uh, I think we've already gotten these guys. Uh, we've covered Cardinal Knights before. Here, the same. It's basically the same boss fight as before. Oh, I made it going. Don't you dare hit rain! I, I own beast. Come on. Like I said, I'm only going to be showing necessary fights. I don't. I haven't mentioned that. You know what else I haven't said in a very long time for this Let's Play? Well, I'll wait for a good time to say it. Unless I said it last episode, in which case... That just rendered this useless. I, I don't think so. I haven't recorded an episode since... Friday. We won, but are we going to do... What are we going to do now? What else? Before they bring in reinforcements, we'll get the heck out of here, but to where? Perhaps Altessa's place? Exactly. 
Well, actually, they got that wrong. Uh, anyway, this is the Garagio Forest. This is actually sort of a mini dungeon. Um, and the only reason I consider it a dungeon is because it has a thing that will change the function of the source. Blah! I haven't even eaten since, like, five. No, not even that. Since, like, four. What the hell? Anyway, the Sorcerer's Ring emits light now. Um, this place is a maze. Literally, it all depends on how or which route you choose. And what? Oh, oh, this is actually optional. Uh, you don't have to come out here. This is another place where you can get a landmarker and a skit. We're going to get the skit. And there's a landmarker over there. So I think there's a treasure chest around here too. So I probably want to grab those. Uh, huh. What's wrong? Huh? Why are you sighing? Oh, uh, I was just thinking that I've changed. You have? I think I've become more stubborn because of you. That's good. No, it's not. We only need one stu person who's stubborn. Hey, like the professor says, you shouldn't give up on things so easily. That's true, but you do get bored with things pretty easily. No, I don't. I don't give up on anything. Liar. Then why did you stop trying to memorize the summon spirit relationship, uh, relational chart? The, that's another matter. Anyway, let's go. I'm getting bored of this place. Lloyd, you don't follow what you say. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, there's another skit. Another skit. Oh! Is there a new enemy? Uh oh, this might not Yes, be there is. Boxer Iris, I believe. And the Mantis. Actually, Gold Beetle, too. All these are new enemies. Uh, these things are not all that hard. Fire will pretty much do it. I'm pretty sure. If not that, that then it's either Ice or Wind. Yep, it's fine. Because Genus just said so. You know what? Owned. Dude! Gold Beetle's not all that hard either. Gold Beetle's basically just a ladybug from Silveron, but with a gold color! Three gold doubloons! Oh, there's the uh, skit we can't get to. Nice. I'm gonna get this. I'll check up north. And uh, I'll see if... What did I say that was? Northeast Archipelago or something? I don't know. Let me check over here. Whoa, what's that in the sky? There's actually a cool little story about that place. Oh my god! Leave me alone! Nope. There's nothing here. Oh well. There's actually a story about that place. Um, That town that you saw right there floating in the sky is entirely optional. You never have to go there. Um, but it's in your best interest to go there. It's probably in your best interest to go there because uh, there's a really good there's a really good um, side quest there that you really want to finish. Um, let me make sure that this yeah this is done. Okay, let's go this way. Now here is where the maze starts, and actually I think down here is it? No, no. Uh, let's just sit right here. The reason that you want to stand in these sunlight areas. Vibrant the forest. The Garouchi of Forest used to be just a normal forest a long time ago. Oh, really? But then, one day, a thief hid a stolen treasure deep in the forest. We'll actually be finding that treasure, too. Treasure? What kind of treasure? It was a jewel worth several billion gold. So anyway, he slaughtered everyone who came looking for it. Whoa, that's horrible. Over time, the forest became stained with blood, transforming into a cursed place, haunting, haunted by the lingering resentment of the thief. Ugh, are you, are the people that tried to do it? <laughs> you're just trying to scare us, right? Even now, when travelers enter the forest, the thief's ghost comes to kill them. And then the ones he killed also seek to increase their numbers. Ah! Sheesh, not even three-year-olds believe stories like that these days. 
But yeah, <laughs> you want to stand in these sunlight areas because it'll recharge your um, meter and give you more meter than you, than you start out with for your uh, sunlight, this thing. You definitely want to do that. Uh, it doesn't hurt enemies. What it'll do is it'll move things out of your way like that. I think we may want to get rid of this enemy because uh, he'll get in our way. And there's a new one. It's the uh, ghoul and pumpkin tree, I think, are the new ones. Ghoul, I'm not sure what it's weak to. Um, but again, that's what my profiles are for. I'm not sure what uh, getting 100% of the monster book does in-game. I don't think it does anything. Although, admittedly, to get 100% really on these things, you really just want to, you really just want to, um, uh, get, you know, what you can, get the magic lenses of the enemies that you can, don't go out of your way, and just save your monster book collections, uh, for every time you finish the game, when you go to the grade shop, like the beginning of the game that I did, except I didn't get the monster book collections. Anyway, the Phoenix Rod! is something for rain is a very awesome weapon i actually like how it looks too um in battle it will um ran uh in battle it it's wing the wings of the phoenix on the uh staff actually uh move which is really cool um let's go over here and shine a light Oh my god! Shine, 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 go! Go! Alright, over here is actually something of interest for a side quest that we will be... Or, is it down here? Is it over here? Where are you? It's not there, what the heck? Oh. I want to do this, though. There you go. Pretty ribbon. Can anyone wear that? Can any of the girls wear it? Oh, Rain. Definitely want her defense to increase. And I want him to have some sort of defense. Um, I may actually want to switch Zealous out here. Uh, let's switch him out for Sheena. Uh, I don't know why. Just just because it's Sheena. I've actually ta I talked about this in the stream that I did recently, which was last Saturday. Um... I've decided. I've. I don't know if you guys have been noticing this, but the, every Let's Play, there is an LOLP, and what that stands for is love of the Let's Play. Basically, whichever woman or female character in the Let's Play catches my eye, and I just turn into a sexual deviant over for the entire game. Uh, I think we're trapped. Yes, this is one of those repeating areas. If you notice, as we keep running through this, we're just running through the same area over again. So what you got to do is just go back. And you'll end up back here. Oh, we're back here. Huh. I don't want to go that way. Probably want to go this way. Because it was blocked off. Oh my god. Woo! Oh, we definitely want to shine our light. Shine! Oh, we're gonna get... Oh, we didn't get it! Wow, we didn't get a an encounter. Angel bracelet. Ooh, I just want to give that to it to uh, Colette, because that sounds kind of... Well, actually, no. No, 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 no. Because that lowers her luck. And I think Colette's luck is actually pretty good. Pretty good. Um, the angel bracelet is actually pretty good for Sheena, because her luck sucks, and she needs more defense anyway. Oh, uh, what's down here? Where is that thingamajig? No, not a Jiggy. I don't know why I don't own Banjo-Kazooie yet. I have no idea. Is there an enemy there? Yes, there's an enemy there. Oh, oh. Want sunlight. Need fire. Power! Oh my god! Haha. -ha. Respawning enemy fail. Anyway, I think we got enough now. Woo! You miss. Oh, is this? I think you have to actually burn this with the uh, normal sorcerer's ring ability. Let's go over here. Hopefully this is not a repeating area. No, it is not. 
Okay. It should be here somewhere, the uh, side quest. I'm trying to look for it. As I said, this place is a, basically a maze. Come on. I know you're here somewhere. Whoa. Ah! Enemy. Now this, this treasure chest is actually something that's very important. What's this thing? It won't open. It's sealed by some type of power. You shouldn't fiddle with it. I don't like the looks of it. Now, that treasure chest actually holds um, an item towards the completion of part of, si of side quest. Now, do you guys remember this guy? Hey, buddy. F fight, fight, fight. Fighting is everything. Uh, not right now. Be gone if it is not yet time. Um, I, I kind of want to find him right now, but I think I'm too underleveled. Um, he's actually pretty strong right now. Um, so we'll come back later. Uh, he appears right now, as you can see, once you enter the, the forest, he'll appear. Um, I can swear there are more treasure chests that I want to find. Uh, I definitely want to go back and burn that. Oh, no, no, no. I definitely want to go back and burn that, um, branch to... See whatever's behind that. Don't let up. Woohoo, enemies. I think it's the tropical worm. Oh hey, can Sheena cast um S Seal Fire on me? There we go. That'll definitely work. You, uh, that's actually a good idea to get Sheena to cast, um... Uh, you know, fire seals on your weapons because they will, uh, do fire damage once you, once you, uh, once she does that. Uh, so it's a really good idea to do that. Especially in this area when a lot of enemies are weak to fire. Ooh! Actually, I could try taking him on right now if I wanted to. Um, because that's the save file right there. But first, Colette. I hear something. Footsteps from far away. I don't hear anything. Colette still has her angel senses. They're definitely footsteps. Also, the sound of clinking armor. There are lots of them. It's coming from that direction. That can't be good. Altessa lives over there. Could it be more of the same guys from earlier? I'll send Corinne out to scout. That's the guy from the Mel Tokyo sewer. Man, it's just one thing after another with the Pope. Am I really that much of a problem to him? I do not wish to fight you. I just want to speak with that girl. With Pedophile! You've got to be kidding. Or did you forget that you tried to kill us? I cannot speak for any others. However, I, at least, never intended to take your lives. My orders were to retrieve a girl named Colette. Me? I will do you no harm. Prisea is her name, correct? Please, let me speak with her. An X-Sphere? You are yet another victim? Prisea's in danger! I don't know what the heck is going on, but we have to stop this guy! Stop him before he rapes her! Pedophile! No and we gotta fight the mysterious convict here. Uh, what's his name? I don't know. We don't know yet. Um, but... Oh, I want Rain to use a magic lens on him. He is the convict! He's actually... He actually does have a name. He's not actually just a regular convict. As you can see, he has quite a bit of HP. Let's just do a unison attack. That's gonna hurt. And this is gonna hurt even more. Yeah, that really hurt. Well, we did well over half HP. Now he's in over limit. That's nice. That's nice. This guy actually hits pretty hard. Uh, he's got no weaknesses or strengths though. Uh, so... 
He's actually, you know, he's, again, he's actually pretty hard if you don't know, if you didn't see this fight coming, um, and you didn't prepare for it. Wow, it failed. Owned! Not bad, am I? Tiger Blade win. I'm about to learn heavy Tiger Blade too, which is really nice. He sounds like he has reasons for his actions. Perhaps we should take him prisoner? I'm sure he has much to tell us. Sheena! Oh, Gurren sounds so cute. The footsteps keep getting louder. Uh, shouldn't we get out of here? But the Papal Knights are waiting for us if we go back. It looks like we have no choice. I'll take you to the village of Mizuho. Baby. Whoa, what a Shina. nice camera angle Isn't that Mizuho was. A hidden village anyway, kept secret from outsiders? as you can tell, Sheena is the love of the let's play we'll be trapped from both sides uh, we'll you'll be something. interested to know what the there's love who the love of the let's play is in the next one i'm not actually sure if there's going to be one in the next okay. please show us the way let's Gina. play because i'm uh, he's jealous there's Here no attractive women place. in that one but oh well me you want me to carry this ogre by myself are you kidding me? <laughs> ogre here i'll help Zelos will have a hard time by himself oh you're so nice colette we Chosens have to look out for each other, right? Yeah. And go like just carry him on our own. Oh, he's lighter than I thought. I can carry him myself. Huh, well, I see. Men are so useless these days. Hey. Come on, we need to go. That's just because Colette's some super angel. She's like, okay, let's go this way. Um, we gotta head back to... Oh, damn it. No, we can't. Never mind. We'll come back later. Uh, for now, let's just go to the village of Mizuho. Mizuho! Pretty boys die young. Where in Garachia Forest is this Mizuho village? I can't tell you that. We'll be there soon anyway, so just be patient. I see you Mizuho people are as secretive as ever. It's to protect our unique culture. Like Japan! If you don't like it, you can wait in the forest. You've got to be kidding me. I'll pass on being left behind in the forest of death. The odds of surviving alone in Garauchia Forest, 25%. Ouch! Don't stay stuff like that, per se, uh... You'll be fine. You look like the type that just won't die. I'll second that. What? You know what they say, the pretty boy die young. Boys die young. Incorrect usage detected. Correction necessary. Per se, uh... Oh, and this is actually one of my more favorite skits because it only shows how much of uh, how much of a ignoramus Lloyd really is, because uh, it kind of reveals something about Sheena. So let's do it. What's your fighting style called? Oh, I'm a guardian user. I fight with special cards infused with powers. Guardian user, huh? When I first met you, I was surprised how you could fight with a piece of paper. When dwarves create accessories, they carve charms into them, right? It's similar to that. I see. So if I buy some paper and draw some charms on it, it won't work. It's a secret art. Darn. If you really want to learn it, you could become one of us. How do I do that? Um, like, marrying? Oh, what? And if you say what to you, she actually gets offended. And it ends the conversation. So you got to say, okay. Okay, because I definitely would. What? I just need to marry, right? Um, I... Um, no, I I mean, if you want to, then... I just need to marry someone in your village, right? You're so insensitive. Oh, Lloyd! No! Damn it! Oh, you ruined it! Ah! Oh. God, F you, Lloyd. Okay, so basically this is what happens. Sheena takes us to Mizuho, and the vice chief Taiga fills in to speak with us because the chief Igaguri is ill. Lloyd explains he wants to save both worlds, and the vice chief agrees to support Lloyd so long as they help move his people to Silveron after the two worlds are saved. Everyone agrees to letting the chief and his people help. Sheena insists we take Perseia home. It turns out the convict's name is Regal. He agrees to fight with us and help us so long as we he he get he gets to talk to Perseia eventually. 
We picked up some new items in Mizuho, head through the Groucho Forest after the way is cleared, then make it to Hosea. Persea runs off in a weird fit. We stock up and leave the episode office. We're about to go after Persea. That's the summary of what happened after the recording cut off. I just left the audio on for a little bit so you could hear the rest of that thing. So yeah, blame my Dazzle for that. Thanks, Dazzle. You suck. At least the DVDs didn't fail.